No, no clue. Charlie Fry. Oh man, you killing me. I don't know sport questions. Akron was ever that good? Um, I think I know this. Is it Charlie Fry? Welcome back to the Sports Report. So from one men's team to another, the Zips football team also played at home this week. The 2-6 and six CMU Chippewas came in eager for their second win in league play. Central Michigan came in with a 13-9-1 record over the Zips, with the Zips holding a 6-5-1 advantage at home. ESPN was in the house to capture all the excitement. Could the Zips get the W on the gridiron? A beautiful day at Infocision Stadium on Saturday where Akron and Central Michigan hit the field, both in hopes of the league win. CMU was the first on the board with a 27-yard pass from QB Ryan Redcliffe to Courtney Williams in the first quarter. The Zips came up empty in the first half. Akron trailing by 20 in the third when redshirt freshman Jawan Chisholm finds the ball and the end zone in this 38-yard run with 434 left on the clock. Chisholm led the Zips with 130 rushing yards by the end of the game. Akron continued to dominate in the second half. With 257 left in the game, Clayton Moore found junior McQuello Soul for a 21-yard TD pass. Akron's D gets a game-saving stop. Zips down 23-16. to With time running out, Moore finds Sewell again, ready in the end zone. Scores now 23-22. to Akron goes for the win with a two-point conversion pass, which is unfortunately no good. CMU wins 23-22. to To hear what Rob Ionello had to say following the heartbreaking loss, let's check in with the head coach. Probably the best thing coming off such a uh, hard-fought game like we had Saturday is to turn right around and have a short week. We can jump right into this, and we got to jump right in and refocus our energy on, on a really good Miami of Ohio team. We here at ZTV are always striving to bring you the latest on Zip Sports. You can now find past episodes, press conferences, and player interviews on our brand new YouTube page. Now let's throw it back to David and Dee at the update desk to see who's doing what in Mac football. We're back with more Zips update, and guess what? We're just getting warmed up. Oh yeah, we got some Mac standings to get to, bro. We start in the East where Temple man's the top of the conference, sitting at 3-2 and two in the MAC and 5-3 and three overall. Ohio is behind them and has a record of 5-3, and three, but it's 2-2 two and two in the conference. Miami of Ohio is also at 2-2 two and two and have a 3-5 and five overall record. At 2-3 and three in league play and 4-5 and five on the season is where we find Bowling Green in the fourth spot. At fifth, Kent State is 1-3 in the conference and 2-6 and six overall with Buffalo behind them. Also with a 1-4 record in the MAC, and in last place, we find our University of Akron Zips at the bottom of the conference at 0-4 and 1-7 on the season. Definitely a tough one for sure. What do you have for us on the west side, Coy? We currently have Northern Illinois in first place with a 4-1 record in MAC play and 6-3 record on the year. They had a wild game against my pick, Toledo. The final score in this crazy shootout was 63-60. Toledo is now 4-1 and 5-4 and and overall. Up next is Eastern Michigan, and they're not doing too bad on this season. 3-1 and 5-3 and and overall. Ball State is 3-2 and 5-4. And and Western Michigan is 3-2 and 5-4 and and on the season. Central Michigan finishes up the West Conference with a 2-3 and record in MAC play and 3-6 and overall. Despite the loss, I still believe that Toledo is going to be able to pull it out in the end. I just wish I could say the same thing for our Zips, but you know how that is. Yeah, and I wish the Zips the best, but I got your favorite two words ready for you. Zips trivia. What number does Zips center Zeke Marshall wear? Find out after the break. <laughs> 